Okay, y'all, I'm back. I told y'all I was going to show y'all the exercises I do at home to keep this mommy body in shape without going to the gym. Now, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, you have to get you a sweat pad. Now, this sweat pad is not like any other sweat pad because it is not constricting. It's very stretchy. When you're working out, you don't want anything that's too tight, that's cutting through your skin, where you can't lift up your leg, you can't bend over and stretch. You want a real comfortable um, sweatband. Sweatband helps you sweat a little bit more in certain areas, so that way you can work a little bit less. Because if you're not sweating as much, then you're gonna have to do more workout to cause you to sweat more. This band, actually, when you take it off, even after that little 30 minute workout, you will see the sweat, okay? I like to also wear this sweat band when I'm mowing the lawn. Here in Florida, it gets really hot. Um, even if it's not hot, just walking around with this band in general because it's so close to your core, especially if you have like a shirt on or something, it's going to help to help your midsection to sweat. So I wear it when I mow the lawn. I, I wear it if I'm going to be walking around the house just because it helps to aid with sweating my core. So get it. I got it off of Amazon. I think when I bought it, it was about 20 bucks. Now I think it's up to 30 because it's so popular. I think it has over 18,000 reviews. I'm telling you, very stretchy. I think it goes up to an extra, extra large, but don't quote me. But I would read the comments, and if you don't know what size to get, find someone in the Amazon comments that has a similar, a similar, similar like body frame, and go with that. And they'll, it'll tell you which size they purchased. That's what I did for mine. So. I have my sweatband on. It's very loose. Like I said, it's comfortable. I also have a resistance band. I have the heavy, uh, when I first started doing the resistance band, which I'll show you a different one. It doesn't really matter which brand. I like this fabric brand more than the rubber band because the resistance bands come in different types. They have the one that's more like a rubber band and then they have these, which is more like a cloth and it gives you a little bit more resistance and it doesn't slide as much. The brand that this one is, is um, Renoj, R-E-N-O-J, okay? So I got it off of Amazon and I wear this around my, my, my like my thighs, right under my butt and then I have the, the heavy one on. The, the This one is, I think, light and this is heavy which means the resistance when you put it around there is a little bit more tighter when i first started off i had to use the light just because it was a little bit too tight when i was walking or doing my exercises and it was too much strain especially if you're going to go to work you want to use the light if you just want to get a workout in and you don't want to be super sore before work never use the heavy resistance always use the light one if you're going to be home the next day use the heavy because if your legs are a little sore, you're going to be chilling at home, so it really doesn't matter. So I have my resistance band right here on my kind of thigh area. And I always like to work on my, my glutes more. So don't, don't, don't judge me on my posture. If you want to learn more about it, the appropriate ways to stand and stuff when you're squatting, look at someone else's YouTube. Do what's comfortable for you, but... I don't quote me on my stance. I stand how I want to stand when I'm doing my squats, and it works for me. So, of course, what everybody knows is you want to try to stand shoulder length apart. And don't mind that I have my flip-flops on because that's just me. Like I said, for you, you might decide to be barefooted, whatever works for you, but I got on my flip-flops, and my flip-flops have a good grip. So I stand shoulder length apart, and I literally try to go down as far as I can, and I come up and squeeze. When you come up, the most important thing is to come back up and kind of squeeze those butt cheeks in to the point where you're leaning up, leaning back a little bit. When you do that tight, not only does it trigger the glutes, but it also contracts your, um, your abdomen muscles, okay? So you squat down as low as you can, as comfortable for you. You bring it back up tight, okay? Wearing your sweatband with this really helps to get you a core workout and a glute workout. And I do, I started off doing about 10 a day, just reminding myself every day to do 10 a day. And then now I think I'm up to about 30 a day that I do. And I'll just do my squats and I bring it in. I even sometimes, if I want to trigger those sides, the sides of my stomach, I'll do a middle one, bring it in, squat down and turn a little bit so that I'm triggering my sides. And then I'll go back, come to the middle, go back down, go to the other side. So that it's getting those side glutes, okay? And them side 
abdomen muscles. The next thing is the jump squats. Ladies and gentlemen, if you got bad knees, this video is only for educational purposes. If you got bad knees, be careful with these jump squats. It is not for someone who has any type of injury because it is a lot. You don't have to jump that, that high if you do have issues with your abdomen, you know, with your knees and stuff or back or whatever. You can do just like a little jump. It's the same thing with the squats except for you add in a little jump. So you squat, you jump. Squat, jump. Squat, jump. Squat, jump. Squat, jump. Those, I've noticed when I do those, it really does help with my butt even more than just doing the regular um, squats. The next thing I do, which I'll show you, I'm gonna bring my camera down for you guys. Hold on. Let me bring this down for you. I'm gonna show it for y'all. I'll show y'all the next thing that I do. Hold on. Got y'all. All right. So I have a little eight pound kettle or whatever you call it, kettlebell. I don't know. I have an eight pound kettlebell. And what I do is, if you can see me, I take, I keep the resistance band on to give me a little bit more of an oomph because I'm trying to build my legs. And for those people who got the inner thigh issues where you got the fat or whatever you want to get that tightened up, this helps a lot. So the first thing I do is I kind of lean back in like this type of position. I put my feet straight up. I hold this like this and I get my sides. I bring this to the side like this and I do, I would say start off with 10. One, two, three, or five. Four, five, six. Try to keep the feet up. Seven, eight, nine ten if you can't do ten because even now me doing that ten i might look like it's comfortable it's not it's intense so start off with whatever number works for you but i'm just showing you what i use to keep my stomach under control literally even if you decide to, to do three sets of five on each you know you do the one two three four five if you decide to do three sets of five if you decided to do 10 squats, it doesn't matter. A little bit is a little bit consistent consistently will work. You'll see the differences in your body, especially if you're drinking water and incorporating high fiber. It'll keep you from being bloated and stuff like that. And it'll also aid in circulation, which you need that good blood flow when you're trying to build muscle and you're trying to, you know, be healthy and be oxygenated while you're doing these workouts. So I do the little sides, I do a few reps of these with my feet up. The next thing that I do is I kind of let my feet go flat and come up. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. That is not easy, especially if you're not really good at core exercises. It took me some time because when I first did it, I fell back. So just you don't have to lean all the way back. Just mostly if you want, you can support yourself. You put your hands down behind you and look at the biggest thing is extending those feet and bringing them back. Extending those feet and bringing them back up to your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So usually I do about ten of those and then I do my ten side to side. Mind you, we got our waistband on. The whole time you're doing this exercise, it's helping to sweat even more. I, I don't know the name of this. I don't know a lot of the names of the exercises I do. I probably need to look them up. So I am going to look them up so that way I can reference them better. And if y'all want to watch a video about them in particular, one by one, y'all can do that. But I do this one where it's like I alternate like this. That one is so good at targeting your sides. You know, you want to get that little V. I've noticed that my sides have started to show. So let's go. So I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when I'm doing that, remember, we got the resistance band on. So while I'm doing that, not only am I getting a workout with my core, it's working out my legs because 
even if you decided to do this, this is a good workout for the core and the legs, especially with the resistance band. Another thing I do, I work out my glutes. I lift my butt up like this, I'm supporting myself, and I open my legs like this. You ever see that machine at the gym that open your legs like this? You got your own machine at home now. Open, close. And you can see my glutes. Look, do you see that? Do whatever's comfortable for you. That's working your whole glute area. You do not need a machine. Go get you this resistance band. Go get you a sweat band. The other exercise that I do is I do what they call a fire hydrant, which is, you see my legs, you guys? You bring the leg up like a dog would pee on a fire hydrant, and I just do like 10 on each side three times. And let me tell you, this stuff with the resistance band on there, it is pretty, you can feel the resistance. I feel the weight as I'm, I'm lifting my leg up. So if when you're starting off, it's too tight or it's too hard for you, go with the lighter resistance band. They have different ones. They usually have like three or four different ones. It starts off as super light and then it goes to heavy. The lighter it is, the easier it is for you to open your legs and lift it up. Now, once you get used to that particular um, resistance, then increase it because you don't want your body to get used to the workout. For example, if you start off every day doing 10 squats and you start noticing you're getting it done really faster, start doing 15 squats. After you get used to that, increase it. So that way you can maintain and, you know, keep everything even extra sharpened. And whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. And literally, that's what I do. I do that every day. So I do my squats. I do my core, a few reps of my core. And I do this all in my room. I usually try to do it while the kids are eating breakfast. So that way they're occupied and I can go do a quick little 30 minute. Or if you don't have time to do it right at, while they're eating breakfast. Sorry, I had to burp. Do it while they're taking a nap. This is around the time. It's about 12-ish. This is the time that my kids take a nap. I put them down for a nap. I don't care if you gotta lock yourself in the room. Get that little 30 minute workout out because listen, I only had it on for that little bit of time. And look, do y'all see that sweat? Get y'all one of these, look. Do y'all see that? I don't I don't use any chemical. They When you buy this sweet sweat wrap, it does come with like a gel, a sweating gel, but I don't promote putting anything unnatural on your body as far as liquids because you don't i, don't, I just don't you you're gonna sweat naturally okay this band is the, the 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 stuff okay what i normally do is it might sound gross to you but this is my sweat and i know my body was clean when i started off i will let it dry if i know i'm going to be using it again i'll let it dry or i'll just keep it on the whole time and i usually use it about two or three times before i wash it I am plant I am plant based so I don't have I'm not saying I don't have odor but my odor is not alarming when I sweat because I'm I'm eating mostly a plant based diet and I'm not getting as many hormones and artificial things so if it's stinky of course I literally just wash it and dryer with I wash it and dry it with the regular clothes simple boom 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 and then that's pretty much my workout I try to do that if not every day every other day okay and that's that Okay, so you guys, I'll be trying to put more little stuff on here to kind of encourage you guys to do simple stuff, you know, around the house. Because listen, everybody don't have the money to go to a gym, nor does everybody have the time. But there's no excuse. You can take 30 minutes out of your day to do these few little things and that'll help you feel more comfortable with yourself because you know you're doing something that's active and you feel good when you're done. And usually after I do my little 30 minute workout... I'll start prepping while I'm still full from breakfast because I eat breakfast before I work out. And um, if you are fasting, if you're the type of person who's trying to lose like 15 pounds or more and you decide to fast, just make sure 
that you eat enough protein at nighttime so that way when you're doing your workout early in the morning or whenever you're not dizzy because sometimes when you're transitioning into eating better and fasting you can sometimes feel lightheaded and dizzy so just make sure you don't take any multivitamins or anything on an empty stomach wait until you're actually eating because you will get nauseous and just make sure that you take your time i like i said i might do 10 reps times um 10 reps of something you might need to do five do what's comfortable for your body and just make sure when you start noticing your body getting used to it increase it i love you guys and i'll try to post more videos like this y'all know that i don't do none of that cutting i don't do none of that oh let me redo this all of my videos are just straight what it is so if you see some underwear on the floor in the background or something like that just know that this is real life okay everybody is not going to be sitting up editing oh my background has to look perfect no it looks the way it looks it is the way it is i'm here for the purpose of trying to give you guys some tips on what i do to help me be successful day by day with managing my stress managing my life managing a few other things so if you have any suggestions i know i talk really fast let me know otherwise I'll get better at putting stuff in the, um, in the information about like the resistance band and stuff like that. But if you guys do want to know what the resistance band and you want me to send you the link, just send me a, um, a message and I'll send it to you guys, okay? I love you guys. I'll try to tune in again soon. I appreciate all of my subscribers. I know a lot of you guys came because of the birthing video, so I appreciate all your support. And if you still have questions about that, definitely feel free to hit me up. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm about to get ready and probably um, drink some water because I try to keep my water bottle full and I have a goal of how much water I want to drink. So I'm probably going to drink some lemon water and then chill out. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.